Right, and finally for Stripe, uh, the last step is to show you what we see in our bank account. So when we open the bank account, we'll see that the Stripe movements will automatically pop up uh, in green. So Stripe transfer 720.97 uh, 20 and 7,280.97, sorry. Uh, if I click on see details, The bank transfer is automatically going to associate itself with all of the invoices and all of the payments that uh, are inside of the deposit. If you remember the authorized.net, we had to download, double check, and figure out which movement it was, and then uh, match it with the total in the bank account. This way, the system just dev does everything for us. If this will upload, the internet sucks right now. The system just does everything for us, and we literally just click OK. Here we go. These are all of the invoices. All right. You can see uh, the payment, uh, the invoice that it's associated with. So if, for example, I open up the invoice, it's going to open, and we're going to be able to look at the invoice. All right, UK of gray. Uh, if I grab this invoice number and I copy it into Salesforce, it's going to be in Salesforce as well. There we go. Now let's see if I put it in the Stripe. It's also going to pop up right here in Stripe. The payment in K A gray. Uh, if I go back to zero, uh, we can see that zero. I'm sorry. Uh, we can see that zero and Stripe is separating the transaction fees for invoice zero one six nine seven. Again, you can see it super easy. Zero one six nine seven. Zero one six nine seven. We search right here. We're looking at the invoice. We can see all the payments. Back to zero. Uh, the transaction fees were 207.38. Uh, we charged our guests a reimbursement of the transaction fee, again associated automatically with this invoice, we don't have to do anything, of 207.98. So you can see we actually made just a little bit of revenue off of this movement. And uh, Stripe it just automatically reconciles all of this for us. All we do is we click reconcile and we're done. As opposed to authorize.net again where we have to pull this out. Uh, we have to, let's see where it says bank card movement. Yeah, so I can just show you one again. Uh, bank card deposit, here it is. Here's one for 25000 And then we have to go in and we put find and match and we have to select then manually all of the invoices and they have to match up with our deposit amount. This wasn't a real one, this was just one that I'm showing you for example. So it's all done manually basically. Uh, with Stripe just automatically pops up in green and if you hit OK.